In our last episode, Longevity Escape Velocity, The Race to Beat Aging by 2030, we talked about what Longevity Escape Velocity actually is. Longevity Escape Velocity, LEV, is one of the most fascinating concepts in modern aging science, representing the theoretical point at which medical progress extends expected lifespan faster than time passes. But knowing what it is only raises the harder question, how would that actually work? This comprehensive analysis will show the latest discoveries and developments in this field, including significant scientific breakthroughs, clinical trials, and forecasts for achieving this monumental goal. The concept was first formulated by biogerontologist Aubrey de Grey in 2004, inspired by the analogy of escape velocity in physics. According to this theory, when medical advances increase a person's remaining life expectancy by more than one year per calendar year, longevity escape velocity is achieved. This means a person is effectively going backward in time in terms of biological aging. One of the most significant announcements in 2024 came from Ray Kurzweil, computer scientist and futurist, who revised his forecast for achieving LEV to 2029. Kurzweil claims that we are currently gaining about four months of life expectancy per year thanks to medical advances and predicts that this trend will accelerate to a full year by 2029. After 2029, you'll get back more than a year. You'll go backward in time, Kurzweil stated in March 2024. Kurzweil predicts LEV around 2029, citing rapid medical advances in vaccines, AI-driven drug discovery, and even safer technologies like self-driving cars reducing accident deaths. In 2024, Aubrey de Grey continued his work through the LEV Foundation, focusing on the robust mouse rejuvenation study, which investigates the combination of various rejuvenation therapies. This study represents a breakthrough in biogerontology as it systematically tests synergies between known rejuvenation therapies. The Dublin Longevity Declaration, published in 2023 with support from de Grey and other leading scientists, calls on world leaders to immediately expand research to improve health span and lifespan. This declaration marks a consensus in the scientific community on the urgency of addressing aging as a medical problem. Research into longevity escape velocity is progressing through several key approaches at various stages of development. Senolytic drugs, which eliminate senescent cells, are currently in phase two clinical trials with expected commercial availability between 2026 and 2028. Unity Biotechnology and Oisin Biotechnologies are at the forefront of this approach, showing promising results in mouse models where treatment extended lifespan by 9%. NAD Plus boosters, which restore cellular energy production, are also in Phase two clinical trials. Elysium Health and Chroma DX are leading this research, showing that NAD Plus levels naturally decline with age and can be restored through supplementation. Cellular reprogramming using Yamanaka factors may be the most revolutionary approach in longevity research. Altos Labs, founded in 2021 with $3 billion in funding from Jeff Bezos and Yuri Milner, is leading this research. Partial cellular reprogramming has shown the ability to improve or restore multiple aging-related phenotypes, including lifespan, healthspan, epigenetic age, and aging characteristics. This technology can induce rejuvenation without de-differentiation, making it safer for clinical application. Investments in longevity research have grown exponentially, especially after 2020. Total investments have risen from 0.2 billion in 2015 to a record 6.3 billion in 2024. This dramatic growth was catalyzed by the COVID-19 pandemic, which accelerated medical research and the founding of Altos Labs in 2021 with the largest single funding in the history of longevity research. Major tech giants, such as Google, Calico Labs, and Amazon, through Bezos's investments, are participating in this field, signaling mainstream acceptance of longevity science. The development of precise biomarkers is crucial for tracking progress toward longevity escape velocity. Epigenetic clocks, based on DNA methylation, currently provide the most accurate assessment of biological age, with an error margin of three to five years. These clocks use machine learning to analyze methylation patterns and predict biological age, 
Recent research shows that about 66 to 75% of the accuracy of the Horvath clock can be explained by stochastic processes, while the Phenoage clock better reflects biological aging through non-stochastic processes. This understanding is essential for developing precise intervention strategies. CRISPR-Cas technology offers revolutionary potential for restoring the vitality of aged stem cells. Scientists at Stanford University have developed platforms for systematically identifying gene knockouts that enhance the activation of neural stem cells in old mice. Their gene screenings have identified over 300 gene knockouts that specifically rejuvenate the activation of old stem cells. Senolytic drugs such as dacetinib, quercetin, and fisetin show the ability to influence longevity by affecting DNA methylation clocks. Recent research from February 2024 shows that these compounds can alter the aging process by modifying DNA methylation patterns crucial for gene expression regulation. However, new studies also reveal potential risks. ABT-263, a senolytic drug used as an anti-cancer therapy, has been shown to accelerate ovarian aging in old mice, suggesting that older women seeking pregnancy should be cautious with certain senolytic drugs. Rapamycin continues to show promising results in anti-aging research. Marmosets, treated with rapamycin, showed about a 10% increase in lifespan. The drug's primary activity is based on inhibiting the mTOR pathway, which helps promote cellular repair and renewal. NAD plus plays a key role in cellular metabolism and serves as a co-substrate for enzymes critical in pathways that modify aging. A new approach to skin anti-aging through increased pharmacological efficacy of exogenous NAD+, in combination with quercetin and inoxalone via CD38 inhibition, shows promising results. Multiple clinical trials of different longevity approaches are currently underway. Northwestern University has launched the Human Longevity Laboratory, a longitudinal study investigating the relationship between chronological and biological age. This study specifically focuses on people at risk of accelerated aging, including those with HIV infections and chronic kidney disease. The latest estimates suggest the following timelines for various approaches. NAD plus boosters and rapamycin starts in 2025 and will end in 2027. Senolytic drugs and stem cell therapy from 2026 to 2030 Cellular reprogramming expected between 2028 and 2032, and epigenetic reprogramming and gene therapy expected between 2030 and 2040. Despite encouraging results, significant challenges remain. The complexity of the aging process requires a multidisciplinary approach that combines different therapeutic modalities. More longitudinal studies in humans are needed to confirm the efficacy and safety of these approaches. Some scientists remain skeptical about radical life extension in the 21st century. The latest study, Implausibility of Radical Life Extension in Humans in the 21st Century, attempts to reconcile previous radical improvements in human lifespan with the slower changes we see today. Longevity escape velocity represents one of the most ambitious goals of modern science with significant progress made from 2024 to 2025. Ray Kurzweil's prediction for 2029, combined with growing investments and scientific breakthroughs, suggests that we are closer to this goal than ever before. However, achieving LEV will require coordinated efforts from the scientific community, the tech industry, and regulatory bodies to ensure that these transformative technologies are safe and accessible to all. A combination of senolytic drugs, NAD plus boosters, cellular reprogramming, and other approaches may finally lead to a tipping point where medical progress outpaces the rate of biological aging, enabling people to live healthier and longer lives than ever before.